our workers uh, pay. Been in Qatar. Two years? Who has children? Yeah. When did you last see your children? Two years back. You've not seen them for three years? Yeah, two years now. I haven't seen them. <sighs> Tough, eh? And the money that you earn, is it, is it getting better or is it the same? Our no, money is very terrible. The money is terrible? Yeah, very terrible. $250. Per week? Per month. Per month? Yes, yes. I don't have nothing in my pocket. <laughs> two years. Best are two years, not even $20 or $50. Do you have your passports? They, you keep them, yeah? Yeah, we have our passports. Yeah. Can you leave the job whenever you want? No. no, no. You can't? No, you can't. You cannot leave? Yeah. But you have your passport. Why can't you leave? Well, the company has to release you because you are under them, because they are your sponsor. And if they don't release you, you cannot get any opportunity anywhere in Qatar. So uh -huh. you can leave to go back to Ghana, but you yeah. cannot leave this job to go to another job? Yeah, yeah. How much did it cost to come over? Some of us paid about five thousand. What five thousand? What real? Yeah. Yeah. So like a thousand dollars maybe? No, two thousand, three thousand like that. Why do you pay that much? Why? No, no, no. The agents. Your agents. Yeah, the agents. You have, you have agents charging you to come over here. Yeah, yeah. It's not a company. It's not a company. They're our agents. But they said that you can, they can claim your agents' money back. No. I've just been told that the agents' money can be claimed back. We have, been, we have the discussed day. about this for the past two years, yeah. but Look, we have so not seen anything like the that. The thing's been done. Yeah. They paid agents' fees on the way over. The they said? Yeah. yeah. Can you get theirs back? I will. We have Please. To look at that. I don't know. You can go and speak to them, but they need their recruitment fees back. They said they have, they've, been, they've tried to get them back, but they said if they can play, they think they fear they'll get thrown out for their no, recruitment fees. Uh, we can, uh, this is obviously, as I mentioned, we've had a success with Can we speak to them about yeah, it? I'd, I'd love to. Can we? Recruitment yeah. How are you? The recruitment fees issue. I understand some of the workers paid recruitment fees. Yeah. Anybody who has receipts, we can handle it. Not a problem at all. Okay. And anybody who doesn't have receipts, we have a way of doing it. You've got your receipts for your agent's fees? They're going to get them for you. I can see there are things here that are good. There's a, there is a good spirit. You saw it. Oh, it's over? I'm, so, yeah, I'm watching ended. from my phone. Oh. Well, it's always delayed when it's live. Oh. Yeah, so uh, how do you feel about that? I think my... No, my sound's okay. Um, how do you feel about that? They, they're getting paid around $250. I don't even know if it's dollars um, a month. And a they're, month. they're not allowed to leave. They can't leave because they have... Um, they're owned basically by agents that broker deals for them, I guess, over to there. But if they leave, they can't come back. So they're stuck there. They haven't seen their family for you know, two, three years and it's ongoing and it's a, it's a big deal. It looks like they're having fun. This is where they're, they're, you know, on their off time, I guess, and, and playing some uh, football, but look where they live or show the video, Ryan, of the, where they live. Was Can we so, see the accommodation? Yeah, of course. Absolutely. Yeah, sure. Would you like to go to the first floor? Can we go to no, the it's, it's fine. Floor? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I wanted to meet some workers. How many workers actually are there per room? Four. You've got four men sharing a room. Aye. What are they actually like to live in? Aye. This one's yours? Yes. Hi. How are you? Are you okay? Good to see you, okay? Uh, okay. You're working at the Al Ryan Stadium? Uh, Al Ryan yes, Stadium. Stadium. Okay. Your break, break today? You have a day off or night? Night, night, night or night? Night, shift. night shift. Oh, Okay. Oh. When I went inside the accommodation, a sadness just goes right through your body. I looked at those two men, and just thought that they've lived there every day for two years. Is this your, like your, that very small Wait, space with a, a locker, which I would only describe as a locker you would get in your, at school? A bed that's obviously very small, a space that has no privacy. And to thinking that's your existence for one year, four years, six years, eight years, is... I find it really difficult. It's difficult. And I know what you might be saying. It's like, well, l l at least they have jobs. They're getting paid almost nothing. And, the, and that's an upgrade. 
because they, they allowed Gary Neville to come in and please watch that documentary to kind of see it. They allowed him to come in because they felt comfortable. Hey, come, you can record anything you want. Come check it out. That's an improvement from what it was because they were being attacked by, by the world about what they're doing. People are literally dying, but there's a lot of discrepancy on that. But uh, there's a lot of problems over there, and they're now opening their doors somewhat. Say, hey, check, look what we're doing. It's still garbage. You know, it wasn't for Gary Neville. Those guys would have never got their money. Uh, look, look at the small places that they're staying in. Also, we, the rest of the world, can go over to Qatar and, and be in these outlandish, uh, what, outlandish, outlandish, yeah, outlandish hotels and big rooms, all on basically, you know, workers basically enslaved, having no choice. They have nothing, so they have to take whatever they can uh, get. And they're all right, spe- so if we did they're this, spending billions of dollars, right? Billions uh-huh. for, to run this World Cup, like six hundred billion dollars, and then they're gonna pay those workers. 250. Oh, wait, we got a goal. Who scored? Mexico. Mexico scores a goal. There's a replay. Nice. Woo. Now get it off. Okay. You constantly have to get it off or we're going to get shut right, yeah. down. Okay. Um, so, yeah, it makes sense to me now, the whole boycotting thing, because you're basically, you're just benefiting off of, um, what's it called? Benefiting off of someone else's hard suffering. Well, they're supporting a part of the country that oppresses everything that the woke world doesn't support, nor do yeah. I, you know, uh, you know, the, the zero women, women rights. And you have to bow down and do exactly what they say. Or you'd be executed kind of mentality over there. So yeah, that, that's what it is. And it, and it gets crazier, uh, with the women. Like when you travel there, if you want to go with your, your, um, wife or significant other, if a female is with you, Female and men have to be separated on uh, some of the transit. Uh, transit. So when you tra- even if they're married, do, they have to be separated, and you cannot be on certain transit uh, with mixed. It would be female only. Male so they treat only. it like bathrooms and locker rooms, basically, which Strange. would be nerve wracking. You go guitar, you're bringing. You know, I was thinking about and you get like left by yourself. Yeah, yeah. How so scary. if I took you. You know, we would have to be separated and say, hey, we have to meet at the stadium because you have to take this bus. I have to take this bus. Right. So, yeah. Sounds like a great place to host a World Cup. Oh, man. Are they going to do that to the visitors? To yeah. Like, oh, my- yeah. Geez. Well, it'll explain more on the next video where they talk about the LGBT community and how they run things over there. So play that video. The perception of Qatar internationally is that there will potentially be restrictions, say, for instance, for fans who are gay. Is that going to be something that you're going to, again, relax during the World Cup? Gary, let's remember one thing. I mean, you've, you've entered uh, Hamad International Airport, Qatar's airport. Did anyone ask you about the, your gender identity? No, but if there were open displays of, of, of behaviour that you saw or that the security forces saw during the World Cup from fans who were gay, what would happen to them? This is not about uh, being uh, LGBT or not. This is about exposing affections in public places. Yeah. It could be a man and a woman. I mean, it doesn't have to be yeah. um, LGBT or anything. I mean, we respect certain cultural elements, and we expect the others also to respect our culture and identity. So how would you you feel? You, you're entering a country. You're entering a country, and they have rules. And it was pretty... pretty uh, uh, she was very specific on it like how would you feel if you came in someone else's house and you engage in a behavior that we don't support so if if you are out there if if you decide to go and you're part of the lgbt uh, community and you wear the wrong colors or you uh decide to kiss your significant other you'll get arrested you okay with that they said oh no one can do public displays of uh, affection male female if you screw up and do a public display of, of affection, especially with the same sex. What do you think is going to happen in guitar? She made it very clear. You know, the, it's not accepted. So, yeah, support. Don't, don't worry. 
these national teams, especially the U.S. national team, they'll put something on the back of their jersey because they disdain it. So, all, all these roles give me like flashbacks to Parks and Rec, um, Venezuela. Straight to jail. Yep. Right to jail, right away. Should have had that overlay. Jail, immediately. Yeah. So will you? So will you attend the World Cup, Ryan? No, I'm no? not. <laughs> I'm taking the World Cup. If you enjoyed that clip, you can enjoy all the clips at youtube.com forward slash Coach Cameron Soccer to get all my content. Make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know what's going on and when we appear online, which is typically every Sunday, 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Hope to see you this Sunday for our next live show.